Shalom, Kahala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's given all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida, and I only give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folk like scattered abroad. And today in this video, I want to go into this prophecy, major prophecy, major, major prophecy, man. Okay, and this is from Insider. It says thousands of people are reportedly lining up to have a portion of their skull removed and one of Elon Musk brain chips implanted. Okay, you see Elon Musk right there, which you, which if you know anything about the Bible, this is a very, very um, prophetic uh, topic. So let's start off with the scripture right here. It says Revelation chapter one, verse three, blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. OK, and we are in the end times and in these end times, they're about to come out with this karagma. OK, which is the M.O.T.B. OK, um, an implant they want to put inside your body. And uh, well, let's grab that real quick, too, while we're here before we read this article. Let's go right into it. And I pray this be edifying to the hopeful elect, because at the end of the day, um, our heart's desire is to be saved, man. Okay, we, 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 we were brought into this truth to prophesy and to warn the sheep. And this right here is Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, which is that new world order, that they should, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So this man is about to come down with a new world order. You have Biden that just recently... Um, um, mention something about that, you know, how, you know, this war with Israel and Hamas is going to lead to a new world order. And um, they're going to come down with great wrath to fulfill their enterprise and bring it in that new world order. It says he causeth all. So he calls you, you know, cause and effect. He causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a M-A-R-K in the right hand. And we've done plenty of videos on that, how people have been getting it in their right hand. But now we are in the end times where now people are going to get it in their or in their foreheads. OK, so they want to put it actually inside your head. OK, and that's what you're seeing right here in this article. It says thousands of people are reportedly lining up to have a uh, to, to have a portion of their skull removed. So this is a surgical you know, um, situation. Now, I don't believe everybody's going to have this situation, you know, where they have this in their head, but, um, they, they, they're going to make it made, make it mandatory for you to at least have it in your hand. Okay. But you have people that people that don't have hands. So they say, Oh, what do you don't have, have hands? They're going to put it in your head, man. You got, um, um, amputees that don't have hands. <laughs> okay. So, so they're, they're going to put it in your head. You know, that's the next best thing. It says, and one of Elon Musk brain chips implanted. And now Elon Musk, this guy, he has bought Twitter, now formerly known as X, only or or now known as X. He has um, you know, electric cars on the road, these Teslas, you know, this man has done a lot. You know, he had uh he has SpaceX, which a lot of these companies, you know, he didn't um and I believe he he started PayPal. But a lot of these companies he um you know he bought them and became the face of them and took them to another level. Same thing with this um engineering with the brain, as you see on the phone, engineering with the brain, Neuralink. You know, he has Neuralink where he wants to put this technology inside people's bodies, you know, and Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is using him and men and people like him to push forth this prophecy. Okay, for 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 for, for um for, for and it's all it's all for prophecy's sake. It's all for the scripture's sake. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M A R K or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So without this technology, you would not be able to buy and sell. And I went into that in my last video. The woman, you know, she was going into the digital ID, which that's going to be a part of the digital ID. You know, eventually down the line, you know, that is going to be your digital ID. They're going to have to scan your hand or, 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 or your head. You know, you go into a lot of these stores and when you walk into the store, there's a camera looking at you, you know, before be, be, and it's, it sees you before you even see it, you know. And that's, you know, going to be a way that they're going to be able to scan you, you know, all type of stuff, man. It says, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. Okay, so this is Bible prophecy. This is going to happen. All right, and, we, and we're here in these end times. We're seeing it play out right before our eyes. Okay, 
10 years ago, this was unheard of. Well, they want to put it in your head. No, that, that, that's, that's science fiction. That, 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 that's just in the movies. But now we're finding out that this is actually real life. OK, it says thousands of people have expressed interest. So you got people that's actually expressing interest in this, man. Because you got people that are, you know, may, may, may be uh, paralyzed, maybe uh, paraplegics. They may be um, they may have Alzheimer's. They may have, you know, all these di di different ailments or, you know, situations going on with their body. And they're being promised um, of the uh, of, 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 of the miracles that this technology can do if they put it inside of them. OK, and the majority of people today, they, they don't believe in the scriptures. They don't believe in how about, you know, most of them, you know, ne never went, seriously went through and read Revelation 13. So, you know, they're going to go for it. And that's the, and, 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 and that's the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua anyways. The majority of you people on this earth are going to be, you know, tagged, okay? It says thousands of people have expressed interest in receiving one of Neuralink's brain implants, according to a recent Bloomberg report from one of Elon Musk's bi biographers, Ashley Vance. And there was a time where this was, you know, um... You know, it was scoffed and mocked. Oh, no, oh, nobody's going to do that. Nobody's going to do that. But now you find out that there's thousands of people, you know, there's, you know, um, thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who already have it inside their hand. It says Neuralink, which Musk uh, co-founded in 2016, has yet. So he now he is the face of Neuralink. He co-founded it. Now he is the face of it, which just all reminds me of the movie um, uh, Upgrade. I got to watch the movie again, the movie Upgrade, where the individual... You know, um, uh, he, the main character, he got, you know, pretty much he got paralyzed and he found out. And then you know, I hate to tell the story, but you should have watched it by now. He, you know, he pretty much found out that it was the, the, the technology that set everything up. But the guy who, um, you know, was the face of the technology, he said how he, he hasn't been running the show since, you know, the, since so on. And, um, you know, really, it was it was it was it was a technology doing everything. OK, they got AI and stuff. So that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim you know, moving through the, throughout the earth to push forth his prophecy. It says, because this is Yahweh Bashim you know, is M-A-R-K. At the end of the day, the, the, the Lord sanctioned this. He he had this created and done for his purpose. Same thing with the thermonuclear missiles. They were created for his purpose. It says Neuralink, which Musk co-founded in 2016, has yet to implant its device in, in a human, but aims to... Uh, operate on 11 people next year <laughs> so next year 2024 wow it says um and over 22 uh 22,000 by 2030 according to Vance who said he visited the company's facilities 10 times over the course of 3 years right so 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 this man he's um you know he he's linked in you know, he's all in a, on, on this thing. It says earlier this year, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration gave Neuralink approval to launch human trials of its device, which Musk has described as a Fitbit in your skull. The FDA has had previously rejected Neuralink's bid for human testing in March. Reuters reported citing safety concerns, including that the wires that the wires connected to the brain. C hip or C H I P could move around within the subject's head, and that the ch the C H I P could potentially overheat. Wow, can you imagine that? It says in September the company began recruiting for its first human trial. Neuralink said, and so this is in September, and uh, we're in September now, right? No, 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 we're in November. So lucky, yeah. yeah, we're we're in November now. OK, um, so, yeah, you know, they, they started ta taking this thing seriously a couple months ago. OK. It says. um, The company began recruiting for its first human trial. Neuralink said in a blog post that it was looking for people who had hip, who had paralyzed, who, who had um paralysis. In all four limbs due to spinal cord injury or AS or ALS, which um in the movie um upgrade the individual who 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 they put 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 that that um C hip in, he was um you know he was paralyzed on on um you know from the neck down. And you found out in that movie that you know that was done on purpose 
so they can experiment on him, so they can use him as, as the, the the human trial. It says, um, and then you can watch the movie and see all the things that he was able to do with that technology and what that technology ultimately ended up doing to him. It says, the company eventually hopes to make a device that would create a sort of sim symbiosis between humans and machines and would allow people to send messages or play games using only their thoughts. But first, the company aims to help people with neurological disorders, right? So, you know, people that have you no know, pro problems going on with their brain, they want to use use this 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 tech the, the technology to um you know so called fix their brains. It says Vance, who uh, um authored the 2015 biography Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and the quest for a fantastic future, said in his report. Uh, that despite an outpouring of interest from thousands of prospective pa patients, wow, the company is still looking for its first volunteer or someone willing to have a chunk of their skull removed by a surgeon so a large robot can insert a series of electro um, um, e e electro ball roads and super thin wires into their brain. Wow. And there you go right here. This is it. Is what they want to do. You know, you, you you remember back in the day when they had the little um, you know, the little head pieces for your phones. Well, now they want to put the head piece inside your head. <laughs> they don't want to just sit on your ear. Now they want to put it inside your head. Madness. It says Musk's bi uh, 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 biographer said it has taken a couple of hours. It, it said it takes a couple of hours for a surgeon to perform the um. Crank, 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 cranny, Tommy, and about twenty-five minutes for the robot to insert the device, along with its ultra-thin array for of about sixty-four different threads. Wow! So they want to put sixty-four different threads inside your head. Once this is in your head, man, it's in your head. Jake tell us, "Oh, I could just take it out." No, nah, man. Once this shit is in your head, it's in your head. They ain't planning to plan on taking it out. It says the device will replace the portion of the skull that had been removed. So, wow. Wow. So, they're going to take out a portion of your skull, and this device is going to sit there to replace the portion of your skull that's been removed. So, they're going to throw a portion of your skull away, I, I guess, or, you know, p p put it into a blender and drink it or something. And then they use this device as the as, as that, you know, that, that piece that was removed. It says, Vent said the threads are so thin, they are, they're about... One fourteenth, the width of a single thread of human hair. Wow, can you imagine? So that's super. That, that is super super thin. It says the CHIP sits behind the ear while electrodes are threaded into the brain. There you go. There you go, man. I remember the movie. Um, the movie Kingsman. There's a movie called Kingsman where people, you know, had um. You know, um, in the end, in the end of the movie, you know, all these people that was, that was in these high positions and stuff, they had you know this technology inside their heads, and they were, and, and and you knew because behind their ear it was like a blinking light, you know. But in the end of the movie, all their heads exploded. <laughs> okay, I can't remember which one it was, but it was one of them. That's a very good you know series to watch too of those movies, you know, because it 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 is it's, it's you know. And they, they they show you the truth in them science fiction movies, and I love science fiction because that's that, that 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 that's really where where they tell you the truth. It says Neuralink has done one hundred and fifty five um um implantation surgeries using the robot on a variety of animal test subjects, including pigs and monkeys. So they oh, they're just sea hipping animals. Vance wrote, but in typical uh, Musk fashion. The billionaire has continued to push for the robot to move faster. Wow. So he pushing this thing as well as for the surgery to be performed without human help. So they don't want any, you know, humans involved. They want to have the robots do everything. A spokesperson for Neuralink did not respond to a request for or, or for comment ahead of the pu publication. The biographer said Musk has pointed to the need to combat uh, competition from other brain co computer startups like um, Synchron and Onward. And I heard of Synchron. But yeah, so it's, it ain't just um, Neuralink. 
Then you have other companies. So like that. You have uh, other companies that are pushing the same agenda. Okay, so no matter what, this thing is going to go out through Spirit Hall by Chanel Shai. If Elon Musk was to fall, Synchron is going to take up the, 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 the post, which I believe that Synchron and Onward, you know, it just says, which have already begun human trials. There we go. So I, I, I was about to say it, but I read it. You know, they've already begun human trials. So, 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 so really, Elon is behind. And he's trying to catch up. You know, it's going to be like, um, you know, um, iPhone or Apple and Google. You know how how they're um 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 you know competing for the 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 main stage in the phone world, where these companies are competing for the main stage in the brain C hip world. Okay, the brain implant world. It says they are currently kicking our ass. <laughs> oh man, this this is this is a good read. They are currently kicking our ass. Must said after Synchron implanted its first device in a U.S. patient in July 2022 in December. 2021, one of the Synchron's patients in Australia was the first person to send a tweet using only his thoughts. Wow. So they're not playing. OK, then they're, they're not playing. There's a race for for, for, for this thing to, 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 to take place. It says the billionaire has also warned that Neuralink needs to pick up its pace like the world is ending. Whoa. Hey, call her law. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Wow. It says Neuralink. The billionaire also warned that Neuralink needs to pick up its pace. They want to speed it up. What? Like the world is ending. This world is ending. This world is coming to an end. You see the, the World War Three brewing. It is coming to an end. So they want to pick up the pace. Like the world is ending because they got to push forth this uh this device before the whole world, before... Um, and, and before any nuclear missiles, you know, get shot off, this must be uh, must must take place. It says to keep up with AI and the possibility of an AI being that wouldn't f be friendly to humans. Vance wrote madness. And, 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 and that's what the movie Upgrade was about, too. You know, the AI, you know, pretty much taking over, you know. It says, and that's what happened at the end of the movie. You know, that, that technology took over that, that individual, the, you know, the main character. And it put him in, in, in a sunken place. It made him think that he was, you know, with his deceased wife, you know, in paradise somewhere. And the whole time he, he was in a sunken place and, 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 and then the technology took over his body. It says, yet while Musk, um, manical sense of urgency um, might work at Tesla or SpaceX, where he is um, in, in, um, initiated sp uh, sprints and slept on the factory floor to meet deadlines. <laughs> At least one Neuralink executive has taken a note of caution. We can't blow up the first. Uh, let me see. We, we can't blow up the first three. That's not an option here. Uh, 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 Shivan's uh, 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 Zillis. Neuralink's director of special projects and the mother of two of Musk's children. Wow. So that's, you know, the mother of two of Musk's children told Vance in a reference to SpaceX first three rockets, which exploded. Wow. So that was a good read, man. That was a good read. It says, have you filled out an application for Neuralink's human trials or do you have a tip? Reach out to the reporter from non-work a non-work email at yada, 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 yada. So Elon Musk's baby mama said we can't, you know, bl blow up, you know, the first three, um, you know, patients, <laughs> you know, like the first three uh, SpaceX uh, rockets exploded. All right. So I, I, I read all that to, to bring you back to, 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 to these prophecies, man. OK, let's go to um, Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter three, uh, 33, verse 33. And this is the time we should be speaking about this more than anything. You know, I just did a video about, about this uh, technology and the digital ID. And then here I am doing it again. We talk, we, we talk, you know, I'm, 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 hey, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, 1 for 4 p.m. It's 11.44 p.m. That's the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And I just said, hey, this is the time we should be speaking about this, man. This is the time that we should be bringing this out more than ever. Because guess what? This is the time where these things are going to take place. And you shall know that a prophet have been among you. It says Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. 
Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Started when I had elders and apostles of the great millstone on down. You're going to know who the true prophets were, man. Okay, who warned you of this? Who told you of this? Okay, when, when push come to shove and all hell break loose, you got individuals that saying that it's not. Hey, well, guess what? You go, you go, you go, you go, you gonna be flat out. You gonna be found to be flat out fucking wrong. Okay, and when this comes to pass, lo, it will. It's gonna come. Yeah, lo, it will come. So, so and that's in parentheses. Lo, it, it's it, it's gonna come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So then you're going to know who the true men of the Lord was, who the prophets were. And right now we've scoffed, we're, we're mocked, we're, we're, uh, we're uh, ridiculed, uh, we're conspiracy theorists, we're all these things, and then some. But pretty soon it's all going to make sense who the Lord is dealing with. It says, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision, make it plain upon tables. It's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to be complicated that he may run that readeth it. Okay, so so so, so when, when we you know, picked up these scriptures, we had to run and do this work. You know, to, 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 as a matter of fact, let me grab this in the NLT. It's always beautiful in the NLT, man. Right, and the NLT is very, very heavy. Um, Very heavy, man. So let's go here. Um, What was I? Have a cook. Chapter two, it says, um, Habakkuk chapter two, verse one, I will climb up to my watchtower and stand on my guard post, which is what we're doing in the spirit. We are on a watchtower standing upon a guard post, warning the, 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 the sheep. To lock you. Warning the sheep, it says there, I will wait to see what Yahweh says and how he will answer my complaint. Then Yahweh said unto me, write my, write my answer plainly on tables so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. So it's about the correct message. It's about the doctrine. Okay. You must, you, you must have the correct doctrine, the correct message. You don't just go out there and start teaching the Bible or call yourself teaching the Bible. Just throw on a garment and oh yeah, now I'm a man of the Lord. No, you got to have the correct message. And majority of these camps don't have the correct message. Which which we 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 a amen we 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 give all the credit and the double honor to the held elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down because they 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 have you know pushed forth the correct message in the world. It says the vision is yet for is for the future for a future time which we're in, we're in a, we're in future times we're in the latter times. It describes the end. It describes the end. <laughs> so, did the the, the 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 Bible tells us what's going to happen in these end times. It says, and it will be fulfilled. So it's not, it's going to, you know, or it might, no, it, it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. So this is going to come take place. This is going to happen. You know, there is no going around. This is going to happen. It says, look at the proud. They trust in themselves like Elon Musk. Oh, we got to uh, uh, pick up the pace. Like, like the world is in it, it says, and their lives are crooked, but the righteous will live by their faithfulness to the most high. So, hey, the, the righteous are going to live by their faithfulness, man. The righteous are going to serve Yahweh Bashim Yashai faithfully, and, and we're going to survive through faith. Okay, we, we, you, you don't need a, a, a hundred million dollars to survive when this economy collapse, man. Okay, that ain't going to mean shit anyways, or it's going to be credits on, on, on this karagma. You don't need a, 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 through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yashai. We, we don't need this damn k -k 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 karagma. Okay, we need to trust in Yahweh Shem Yashai. It says, wealth is treacherous, and the arrogant are never at rest. And Elon Musk is a billionaire, I believe. So he has that wealth, but it's treacherous. It's putting him in spaces that, you know, is bringing forth really the end of his kingdom. It says, and the arrogant is are never at rest. So this man is never at rest. He said he, like, he was sleeping on the floor in the damn, you know, at, at the company. He's sleeping on the floor and shit. It says, um, they open their mouths as wide as the grave and like death, they are never satisfied in their greed. They have gathered up many nations and swallowed up many people. But soon their captives will taunt them. Uh, they will mock them, saying, What sorrow awaits you thieves? Now you will get what you deserve. You've become rich by extortion. But how much longer can this go on? All right. So it's only a matter of time, man. It's only a matter of time before these things, you know, get, you know, brought, you know. Let me go here. 
Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because the Lord warned us of this. It says, because ye have obeyed my command to persevere, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world, right? So if you of this world, you're going to fail this test. <gasps> All right. If you of this world, you are going to fail this test. And that's why Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh, greatly to be feared, you know, and then none of us know if we're going to, you know, endure until the end, you know, we can only hope. That we endure endurance to the end. We can only hope that 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 we can be delivered and saved. Okay, but it's not a guarantee. It's nothing that that that's, that's been written in stone saying that you're going to be saved, man. It's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. All right. Um. Let's go here. In NLT, it says. Revelation chapter 14, verse nine. It says, "Then a third angel followed them, shouting, anyone who worshipped the beast.'" And his statue, or who accepts his M A R K, the karagma, on their forehead. You put if you put this in your if you accept this to go on your head. If you, if you sign an application and, and lot, get in that line, allow this to go in your head or in their hand, or or you you know you you put it in your hand. And now you have a website called I believe it's called Dangerous Things. Just just just, just note note the damn the name of the website. Okay. Um, it's called Dangerous Things, where you can go online and buy this thing, and they'll give you a, a an at home kit to put it in your hand. They'll give you a kit. They'll send you a kit. I believe it's like a hundred and something dollars, but they'll send you a kit to put it in your hand. It says, "Must drink the wine of the Most High's anger. It has be it has but been poured full of strength into the Most High's cup of wrath." And they will be tormented with fire and burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and of the land and of the lamb. So if you take this, you're going to be destroyed in that thermonuclear fire, pretty much. OK, it says you shall be tormented with fire and burning sulfur. Ooh, that's that's scary. The smoke of their torment will ascend, will rise forever and ever. And they will have no relief day or night. For they have worshipped the beast and his statue and have accepted the M-A-R-K of his name. Okay. So if you do this, that's your ass, Mr. Postman. It says, uh, this means that the most highest holy people must endure persecution patiently. So we got to endure. If you remember, it says, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. It says, this means that God's holy people, the elect, must endure persecution patiently. Obeying his commands and maintaining their faith in Yahweh Shai. Ooh, boy, 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 boy. Okay, that's spiritual, man. Okay, and so that's so so that's the reward if you do take it, because that's what Elon Musk ain't gonna tell you in the fine print. You know, or well, if you take this, you could possibly you know be be destroyed in thermonuclear fire. He ain't gonna tell you that. You know, but that, but that's why it's our job to tell you. Okay. So let me grab this too. Um, Revelation chapter sixteen. This is how you gonna know people who the people who have it. Okay. Revelation sixteen, verse one. It says, "Then I heard a mighty voice from the temple say, say to the seven angels, go your ways and pour out on the earth the seven bowls containing the most highest wrath." So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bowl on the earth. And horrible mac um um ma ma malignant sores broke out on everyone who had a M A R K of the beast and who worshipped his statue. Right. So you know these sores broke out on people. And they in 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 uh in the um KJV is called it is called grievous sores. And I want to grab it in the KJV. Um let, let, let's see 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 what these words mean. All right, so let's go into first and foremost. Let's go into a noisome. It says a of a bad nature, not such as it ought to be. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like this. A of a mode of thinking, feeling uh, troublesome, injurious, pernicious, destructive, baneful. Ooh. It says, look at this. It says, um, depraved or objective, objectively injurious. Bad, evil, harm, ill, noisome, wicked, 
Okay, so that's what's gonna happen if you take you go you gonna have you gonna have wicked swords on your ass, man. It says, uh, let's let's grab some more. It's going to grievous. It says full of labors, annoyances, hardships. So it's gonna be grievous. It's gonna, it ain't gonna be something that you can just oh yeah, it's just a blister and put a bandit on and, and and shake it off. It's gonna be you know annoyance, hardships, full of labor. You got to constantly keep you know people gonna be pussing up. It says bringing toils, annoyance, pearls um, of a full time of pearls to Christians, faith, steadfastness, causing pain and trouble. So this, this is going to be a grievous sore causing pain and trouble, bad of a bad nature or condition in a physical sense, dis diseased or blind. It says in an ethical sense, evil, wicked, bad. OK, so yeah, man, um, let's go back. And this is why it's important to understand these uh, these uh, scriptures so that, you know, when that time comes, because at the end of the day, man, hey, we all may be separated. We all may be, um, you know. Uh, going to this word sore, we, you know, you, you, you may not have, you know, brothers, ne you know, near you or, you know, um, of videos you can watch for encouragement. You got to have this already put in your spirit. I'm not taking that shit, man. No matter what, you can kill me first. And that's going to be that's going to be an option on the table. <laughs> OK, you don't take it. You're going to get beheaded. It says I'm um, going to the word source. It says Elkos, uh, 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 Elkos. It says a wound, especially a wound producing a discharge pus. That is disgusting. It says a sore and ulcer. So an ulcer as if drawn together, sore. So it says this is going to be a wound producing a discharge pus. So you know how you get, you know, um, a wound. And if it gets infected, it will release, produce a discharge or pus. You got that little that, 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 that white cloudy liquid coming out. That's pus. That means your wound is infected. So people that take this shit, you're going to be infected, man. Imagine you have this, you know, technology inside your head. You have, they don't take out a part of your skull. OK, what the most high gave you that that part of that score, they took it off and said, now nah, we're going to take this. off. You, you don't need this anymore. Throw it away, put it in the blender or something. And they put a piece of technology right there. They're already talking about it overheating or people's heads exploding. Come on, man. You you know, then imagine in a time where the economy collapsed and, and you and, 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 you know, ain't no, you know, doctors readily available to help you. Or no medication or um, antibiotics or, you know, pain medicine. All these things are going to be a thing of the past. So you're going you're gonna to know who took it because they're going to start to blister up and sore up, man. You, you, you have put a, 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 a um, you have put a unnecessary thing inside your body. OK, it says um, verse three, it says, then the second angel poured out his, out his bowl on the sea and it became like blood. Of a corpse and everything in the sea died. Okay, so that's the point. Let me go to um so lucky. Let's go into the other option you're going to have if you decide not, not to take it. OK. This is the other option you have if you decide not to take it. So it says. Um, I'll get right to the point. It says Revelation chapter 20, verse four, it says, then I saw thrones and the people sitting on them had been given the authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony about Yahweh Shai and for proclaiming the word of the Most High. So you have, um, you know, and I believe, you know, uh, the powers that be are going to set up these Freemasons that are all amongst us. I work next to a few Freemason and the guy barely speaks any English, but he's a Freemason, you know. And the, and and it's like, yeah, and, the, and and these are pretty much, you know, the henchmen of, you know, the, the, the powers that be. You know, they have t t taken secret oaths and uh, become a part of a system. And um, that's what they showed you in the movie Gray State, where, you know, this prop, you know, this is why that man was put to death, you know, and, and his family, because he showed you something very, very, you know, um, serious in that movie. 
And what he showed you was that when it, when it came to the beheadings, they showed you the guillotines, people getting beheaded, and, you, and they showed you this mess that ended up there in a white, you know, um, you know, ha hazard mat suit or something like that with a mask on, with blood all over him. But you know, he had on a Freemason apron. Okay. It says, and this is what you got to you got to watch out for sellouts and uh and uh you know, um. You know, and it could be your average person. Like, like if you were out down the street, bro, and you see somebody's car who has a Freemason sticker on the back, they have that sticker right there to, to let to let to let the authorities know that they are a part of you know, the damn you know the 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 the, the, the brotherhood. You have something called the Eastern Stars, which are you know uh, female uh, Freemasons. I believe that's you know the black women. You have you have the Boo the Boule, which is the black uh, Freemasons of, of the, the the men. You know, so these people have taken different um, oaths with this uh, society and, 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 and they get certain benefits. But something as simple as putting that sticker on the back of their car, you know, if the cops pull them over, because a lot of your cops, a lot of your firefighters, your paramedics, they, 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 they're, they're all juiced in with that society as well. You know, they all took, have taken those oaths as well. So say you're speeding. And a cop get behind you and one and is about to pull you over, it might see that that sticker and say, Oh no, nah, that no 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 that that's one of the brothers. Or that's one of the sisters. Right? It says then I saw the thrones and people sitting on them had been given the authority to judge, and I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony about Yahweh Shai and for proclaiming the word of the most high. They had not worshipped the beast or his statue, nor accepted his M A R K on their foreheads. Or, or their hands, they all came to life again, They and they reigned with Hamashiach for a thousand years. So, hey, this ain't going to be our end. If you have to be beheaded for this truth, it's not going to be your end. The Lord is going to bring you back. You know, you're going to reign with Yahweh Shai for a thousand years, putting this world into his righteous order, man. All right, and that's a blessing from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that is a blessing from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for giving us this knowledge, wisdom, understanding so we, so we can know and see you know, that these times are coming and we know what to do when these times do come, man. Okay. Let me close out with this right here. Because when this does take place, man, you know, you can expect your life to change. Okay. Ain't going to be no more paying rent, you know, driving a car, none of that shit, man. It's, hey, this whole thing is about to be, you know, the whole, this whole society is about to be turned upside down. It says, um... Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 39, even so shall the not the plagues be slack to come upon the whole earth, upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So it's gonna be problems from every single direction. You see? Not enough food, not enough water, not enough medicine, not enough this, not enough that. No, 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 no. It's, you know, you got chaos, riots, protests, you got um, you know, pestilences and diseases, you got all those type of stuff going on. It's gonna be on every side. And a lot of people are going to be perplexed and they're going to, you know, just give in. It says, oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. And this is the time to get ready for the battle, man. OK, this is going to be a time of testing, a great time of uh, tribulation, a great time of hell. And you want to make sure that you're in the right spirit and make sure everybody around you in the right spirit. Hey, the Lord says, set your houses in order. You know, you can't be with, you know, individuals in this world that still want to be a part of this world. and think that thing that they're not going to influence you to, to be a part of this world, too, in that day. You know, even your damn woman. You, know, you gotta let your woman know this is what's going on. When all hell break loose, this is what this, this is what we doing. Don't wait till that day coming. Hey, listen, we gonna do this. No, she gonna say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going. I want to eat. We got kids. They got it. The kids got the kids got to eat. You know, and, you, and next you know your 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 dumb ass falling behind her. Don't don't be that guy. It says, oh my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the whole upon the earth. Right. So be as pilgrims. OK. He that selleth as let him be as he that as he that fleeth away. So you if you have merchandise. You ain't gonna be able to stay there and protect and guard that merchandise. You're going to have to flee. Leave that shit behind. You know, it says he that buyeth as one that will lose. So say you go buy a new Mercedes, which, you know, hey, really, you, you, you people should be helping the ministry, man. You know, you should be, you know, uh, 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 uh you know, put, sending in money to, to, to the, to the prophet. Started when the elders and apostles, the great mail, so on down. Okay. The elders and apostles put out information about, you know, which, let me say this too, man. Um, as far as, um, your tithes, 
in your alms, you know, that does go to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And that's not for the whole world to, 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 to know. You know, that, that's you get you get information and you send it, you send that in private. That's supposed to be done in private. You know, it's nothing that, oh yeah, I send my money here. I I, I sent the elders and apostles this much. I send it, you know, you, that that that's between you and how much not shy. You know, that shouldn't be talked about. It says, um, but if you if if if, if, you, if you if you instead of if you spending all that money on a Mercedes or, you know, some, you know, it's, it's gonna come in not you gonna have to you gonna lose all that shit anyways. It says he that occupies merchandise as he that have no profit by it, and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. So you gotta understand that you know everything that we have here. Long story short, it's gonna be you know it's it's, it's gonna come to not. You're gonna have to forsake every. You're gonna have to forsake everything here, okay? We not, nothing here belongs to us. These houses are not ours. They're rented. These cars are not ours. You know, and what with a stroke of a pen, he's talking come take all your shit and everything out your house. Never get in the spirit of oh, this is mine. This is mine, 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 mine. You know, because the Lord gonna test your ass with that shit. It says, um, he that soweth as if he should not reap. So also he that planteth the vineyard, as he that shall get gather no shall, that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry, as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not, as the widowers. For before and and therefore they that labor labor in vain. So everything that you're doing in this world, society, you know, you laboring, you you at work seven days a week, busting your ass overtime. You know, for the time being, you got to get that money. But it's gonna come a time where that money ain't, ain't gonna mean shit, okay? And it ain't gonna do you no good, <laughs> okay? So seek your help, Bashim Yashai. Your main thing should be seeking your help, Bashim Yashai, and serving your help, Bashim Yashai, with everything you have and every you know fabric of your being. You should be seeking and serving your help, Bashim Yashai, man. All right, but that's the point. I pray this has been edifying to the whole elect. Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Abba, Baba.